welcome students this is the next point in chapter number 2 that is design of a two pass assembler we have already finished with elements of assembly language programming we have finished with a simple assembly scheme we have also seen what is mean by pass structure of assemblers in which we have seen two pass translation and single pass translation now in this lecture and hereafter in the chapter 2 we will learn the design of a two pass assembler so let us start with the point design of a two pass assembler the content for this lecture are tasks performed by pass 1 and tasks performed by pass 2 the rough idea we already have is pass 1 performs the analysis and generates ir and another thing we know by the pass structure of assemblers is pass 2 performs the synthesis of the code that is intermediate representation generated by pass 1 and different data structures which are there which are generated by pass 1 and at last pass 2 generates the target program so let us list out the tasks performed by each pass first tasks performed by pass 1 first task is separate the symbol comma mnemonic of code and operand fields of each and every instruction in the assembly language program once the separation is done for each and every instruction next step is build the symbol table the symbol table will continuously updated depending on the symbol which is encountered at the front instructions next step is perform lc processing location counter lc processing is required to find out the address of each and every instruction at the same time to find or to identify the address of the symbols and literals which are encountered into the assembly language programming next is construct construct intermediate representation so this intermediate representation consists of ic ic is nothing but intermediate code so whatever tasks are here which are given on this slide we are going to perform each and every task so that we will come to know what exactly pass 1 is doing so separation of symbol table mnemonic of code and operand fields building symbol table performing lc processing and constructing ic that is ir that we are going to see so don't worry about this right now for time being keep this part as a theory in your mind so we will see the example of this in the coming lectures let us switch to the tasks performed by pass 2 now as we just discussed pass 2 synthesizes the target program synthesize means synthesis phase already we have seen that is whatever output is given by the pass 2 is used by the pass sorry whatever output is given by the pass 1 is used by the pass 2 so pass 1 perform analysis of source program and synthesis of ir while pass 2 processes ir to synthesize the target program now what is our input to the pass 2 input to the pass 2 is different data structures that is symbol table literal table constant table the mnemonic table which is already required for us next is ir also contains intermediate code so by considering symbol table literal table pool table and intermediate code in short i can say by considering ir pass 2 performs synthesize and it gives the output as target program so this is what the tasks performed by pass 2 so whatever we are learning pass 1 and pass 2 that comes under two pass translation whatever we have seen in this lecture is a part of two pass translation in which we have seen tasks performed by pass 1 and tasks performed by pass 2 coming back to the concluding remark that's we have seen first part of design of a 
two pass assembler in which we have seen tasks performed by pass one and pass two. Slide credit goes to the link I have given here, which is the book written by Professor D. M. Damdere, sir. Happy learning. Do subscribe the channel to get the notifications of new videos. Thank you. We will meet in the next lecture. Thank you very much.